morning, Sasa G. It is Tuesday, October 31st, aka Halloween is here. <coughs> Shit, still a little sick. For the first goddamn time this year, October actually didn't fly by. I actually did a lot this month, so the fact that it's still October. I'm kind of aged, but I hope everyone's doing super well. I'm just getting over a sickness, guys. I've been sick for a week straight. I still have the sniffles. I need to sneeze so bad right now, but I don't have a tissue paper. But I'm so excited for today. The wait is finally over. Halloween is in full swing. I need to go buy a bunch of candy corn because we're going to be trying that new trend that's going around where you put candy corn on a pizza. You put it in the oven, you let it melt, and it looks it looks pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to taste good or not, but we're going to test it out. Obviously, I need to go get myself a pumpkin spice latte because this is the best day to get it. It's chilly outside. It's perfect. My nipples are hard, and my dick is inside my body. And that's pretty much my day, guys. I'm just trying to get in the Halloween spirit, maybe watch some TV specials, and then uh, get ready to go trick-or-treating today. Yes, I still go trick-or-treating. Um, look at me. I look like I'm 14 years old. I asked the other boys in Team Elf if they want to go trick-or-treating with me. They all said no. And they said that I'm way too old. I say nay nay like don't ever disrespect me like that I mean Jad I understand because he's like eight foot two So he just really doesn't look like a kid but like come on Sean and DJ They both said no too. We're basically the same height and Sean looks younger than me So like here the new Super Mario Odyssey is out Wow, what the hell why they have so many copies? I thought they would be sold out. They even got mad switches on deck. Not bad, not bad. Candy has been acquired. We got two boxes here. Should be good enough. Got the pizza. Candy corn has been acquired. Let's head on home because I'm starting to get hungry. Back home now. I'm honestly not even sure how this is going to work, guys. But, like, this is what I'm going off with. This is the picture that I saw. It went viral all over Twitter. So, we're going to try to recreate that today. And just know in advance that I'm doing this so you don't have to. Because we all know that candy corn on pizza is probably going to be dookie. So, all you got to do is sit back, relax, and watch me ruin a perfectly good cheese for cheese pizza i'm zooked i'm zooked one thing i'm stoked about is this is probably the easiest diy so honestly if you guys are bored at home today just try this it's like two steps you put the candy corn on the pizza you put it in the oven and boom it's done i'm thinking about it right now and i honestly don't see how i could screw this up this is gonna be flawless usually i gotta buy extra props you know but today i have one pizza and one bag of candy corn if I somehow screw this up, you guys can call Big Dick Dave a failure. But a failure with a big dick. So not bad, not bad. Always got to read the instructions here. Um, we want a Chris Crust. I, I say that 10 times fast. Shout out to the OG Parodians. You guys know about the 10 times fast series. Say crisp crust 10 times fast. Crisp crust, 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 crisp crust. Try doing it right now at home. Crisp crust, crisp crust, crisp crust, crisp crust, crisp crust, crisp crust. We're gonna preheat it to 400 degrees. Let that heat up while we put the candy corn on the pizza. Let's open it up. Grab the pizza out. Here. Can you put the camera down? I need two hands to open it up right here. And I went with just a classic cheese pizza because the pepperoni will just get in the way of the candy corn. Yummy. One cheese pizza coming right up. So now, I guess we just dump the candy corn on the pizza. I mean, let's try to make it look beautiful. I was just going to dump the entire bag on top, but I want a nice, like, even pattern of the candy corn. Speaking of candy corn, I haven't even had one of these in, like, eight plus years, so I can't even remember what it tastes like. Oh my god, that's beat. Ew. I don't wonder why people hate this shit. I thought it was gonna be hard candy, like you had to suck through it. But no, the second I take a bite, it just completely deteriorates in my mouth and it tastes like dookie. Why can't even eat candy corn by itself? How the f am I gonna eat this? I'm scratched. Corn is now on the pizza. I went with a little spiral formation, so hopefully once it melts, it turns out like it looks nice. So yeah, guys, let's be honest. I know it's gonna taste bad, but hopefully it looks pretty. Candy corn DIY pizza. Do 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 do. See you later. Good luck in there, candy corn. You're over here. <laughs> <laughs> 
A few moments later. Alright, the pizza's been in there for a couple minutes. Let's see if the candy corn started melting yet. Damn! Candy corn still fully intact. No signs of melting yet. 12 seconds later. It's now been 10 minutes. If the candy corn is not melted, we're in deep shit. Moment of truth. Come on. Yes! Yes! The candy corn is melting, guys. Look, it's fusing in with the cheese. This is good. This is so naughty. Look at it. I'm so relieved. Oh my god, if I couldn't do this, yo, just retire me from the DIY game. I don't deserve to be here. Big Dick Dave came through. I'm so naughty. And while I'm on the ground, guys, smash that like button down below right now if you want me to open this munch pack in my next video. It's been a while, but I want to bring munch pack back. So if you guys are down, hit that like button right now on three, okay, with your nose. Three, two, one. Ah! But yo, like 10 more minutes, I actually have to taste this candy corn pizza. I'm not looking forward to this. But I do it for you guys, the Parodians. I love you. That doesn't even look like a lot of candy corn. I might just dump the rest on right now. Executive move? Let's do it. That's not gonna even look that cool, you know? At the end of the day, we need to just dump the rest of these on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're talking. Let's give a nice little pat inside the pizza. Yes. Now this is looking much better. I'm trying to get it everywhere. You know that saying, less is more? Yeah, that doesn't apply for this. You want to put as much candy corn as you can. The goal is not to see any cheese. Two hours later. Oh shit, oh my god, oh my god, I completely forgot I was upstairs watching YouTube. Oh my god, is it burnt? Thank god. That was a close call, but look at the crust, guys. It is golden brown, it is almost ready. There's a few candy corns that need to melt, and then we can take it out for a taste test. Let's turn off the oven for now and let the residual heat do the rest of the work. Bro, me adding on more candy corn almost just made me screw up this DIY. Cause I turned off the original timer that I had on this phone because I'm like, there's more candy corns gonna take longer. Then I got distracted on YouTube as usual. Shout out to John Olsen, I was watching his vlog. We're still in the good, guys. Wow. The time has come. Let's see this candy corn. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a little burnt. I'm stressed. Oh, I might have left it in for a little too long. But you can see the candy corn at least. Got a little drippage of candy corn. Hopefully it didn't go through. I mean, at the end of the day, it looks not bad, not bad. The orange of the candy corn kind of looks like Frank's Red Hot. And then the yellow kind of looks like pineapple. So yeah, Chef Dave came through today. Ooh, we have one straggler. Get in there. You go right in the middle. I don't want to burn the rough of my mouth, so we're going to let it cool down. I'll be back in like five minutes. All right, here we go. Let's hear that crunch. Oh my god, there's no crunch. Ew, oh, uh, no, 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 what is going on there? This is a cheese pizza. Why does it look like that's barbecue sauce? This is oh, this is oh! <coughs> god, even look at the pizza cutter. That's not tomato. That's just like melted sugar. <coughs> One slice of candy corn pizza. <sighs> With a little suspicious white stain right there. I don't know what that is. I retract what I said earlier in this video. If you have time to do this today, don't bother. Spend it doing anything else because what on earth is that? Why does it look like freaking Chef Boyardee? Oh, it looks like that beef ravioli sauce. The first bite. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm actually going to try to swallow it too. Okay, I taste the tomato sauce, but the top layer is so nasty. Oh man, no! Oh, oh my God! I can't! I can't! I can't! <coughs> you know those caramel cubes? It tastes like I just melted ten thousand of them on top of this sauce. The first bite was okay. You know, I tasted the tomato sauce, and I was like, "Yo, no problem." Then you just get smacked in the face with so much sugar. That's all it is. There's no cheese. You don't taste it. I've seen some videos of people saying like, this is an okay pizza topping. Nah, I say nay nay. Candy corn does not belong on pizza. Never, ever. We're going to try one more bite, but I'm going to go small this time. Ugh. Ugh. Two 
you want sugar? But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm wishing everyone a happy Halloween, a safe Halloween. Don't eat unwrapped candy. Don't stay out too late or that clown from IT is gonna come and kill you. And I will see you guys very soon.